Then in high school football, I'm Bill Tipple with Don Hensley. Thanks to Big Lou for the peak of OhioTV.com video stream tonight. This game is always on 107.3 The Drive, your home of Chieftain football, home and away. And what a game we have tonight. The 8-1, and 4-0 Bell Fountain Chiefs. London comes into this game 6-3, and 3-1 and in the CBC Kenton Trail. If London wins, then it's a share of the conference crown. If Bell Fountain wins, they win their first outright crown since 2018. Don, good evening. Hey, Bill. This is, uh, this is quite the sight here at Bolas Field at <coughs> London. It is a great place to take in a high school football game. <coughs> and London has been kind of uh, the bully on the block, really them and Jonathan Alder when we look at the last few years. But London just rejoined the CBC uh, the first year back in 2019. The Chiefs in the previous three meetings have never beaten London. And they've not been close, really, 43-3. to three. And two years ago, right here, 50 to 14, it was close to the half, but then London really pulled away. And last year was 35 14. Uh, the Chiefs fell at week 10 at home. So, you know, if you're going to win the CBC, it goes through either, at least most recently, through London or Jonathan Alder. And London is, uh, is really known for what they do in the offseason. And that's their strength program under Jim Wendler. They have a, um, my description is, if you follow college football, is Wisconsin when Wisconsin's good, where they just, uh, you know, they're not going to throw much, but they just impose their will. That, that would be how I describe the London team. The Chiefs are high flying. They can score at uh, any given time. Yeah, I think this is one of the better Bell Fountain teams. You know, they'll be coming in here and playing London. Uh, the, the Chiefs are clicking on all cylinders since that week two loss to Coldwater. Since that game, they've reeled off seven straight wins, and uh, they just seem to be getting better every week, and it culminated last week in a huge performance against uh, Kenton Ridge. So, uh, you know, they're kind of the two-headed monster. They come in with uh, Tavian St. Clair, quarterback, who's thrown for 1,988 yards, breaking Des Libertas' record last week of 1884 in a season. He also threw his 22nd touchdown pass last week, which broke Libertas' record of 21 in a season. So uh, St. Clair is having a huge year. And then on top of that, Chris Fogan enters the game with 1,184 yards rushing. So, uh, you know, Belfound can hit you with, in a lot of different ways. they got a lot of skilled kids, but this is going to be a game of two di very different styles. London wants to fight you in a phone booth, as Coach Brown likes to say. They like to get in there and, and use their strength and move the ball between the tackles. And Belfont wants to spread you out and use their speed. So um, it's going to be a great game. You know, I think that this is one of the bigger games Belfont's played in several years. Uh, you know, the, the league title's on the line because, as the coaches said this week, you know, winning the league title outright is what the goal is. And then, uh, you know, obviously getting yourself ready for the playoffs next week. So... Uh, both teams will probably be in the playoffs. Uh, there's a chance that, you know, they could even meet again. We've got so, our Clark State team members of the week. One, and I think that this is uh, a couple you know, of one these that's been circled on the calendar for a while. Students, Eli Long Moore, time. senior linebacker and, uh, for both you know, Both teams are very good. I think the Bell High School merch than the record. I haven't seen any. Tone sex. Well, well, but every game that they've leader. lost has been close. They lost to the Cubs Chiefs now. They lost to the out of a third and seven. Week one, London lost to St. Mary's 42-31. So both teams have been... Battle tested in the CBC Kenton Trail. We talk about it. It's uh, it's tough. tough. Yeah, you know, and I, I think when you when you look at London, you're looking at four running backs: uh, Sollers, Mitchell, Johns, and Jones. The, between the four of them, they've got uh, 26 rushing touchdowns on the season. So they like to pound it up in there, and uh, you know it's going to be a tough test for Belfont to figure out how to stop that ground game. Sollers, who's a sophomore running back, a bruiser, 5'8", about 190. He is in the backfield right behind the quarterback for the Red Raiders, Connor Lacey. And here comes the buck sweep, trying to run wide. And the running back brought down, lost the ball, but really just gathered it in as he fell to the ground. That was Mitchell on a sweep play from right to left, and he got up to the 45. So pretty good run, pretty well blocked, gain of nine, and it sets up a huge third down. Back motion and giving it to him on the sweep. Quarterback looks over at his wings. It's a double wing set. Looks like the quarterback, Connor Lacey, might be in shotgun. He'll put Sollers off to his right. No score. And hand off to the running back who lost his footing, but then bounces forward. Still loose. And he's grabbed from behind by Carter Snap and finally brought down by a couple of Chiefs inside the 20. In the yard line. 8.53 to go in the opening quarter. No score. One fullback right behind the quarterback, Lacey. Wingman goes in motion. He gets the give. That's Mitchell. Mitchell's got a hole, and Mitchell brought down by Caudill at about the seven. First and goal for the Raiders. Seven-yard run by the 
tailback, I guess we'll call him, halfback at times, Elijah Mitchell. He's different than their other running back, so he's quicker. He was the kickoff return man, too. He's got quick feet. Yeah, they got uh, they got a couple of nice wings that can run, get outside, and they got Noah Sollers there at fullback, 5'8", 192, who does a lot of the inside running. Yeah, he, he does the dirty work. He's a hammer. Now backs are split behind the quarterback, Lacey, with a wing to the right. No receivers. First man through, gets the give, and goes towards the goal line. Touchdown! That was easy of a right guard that time. Sean Johns, the senior, listed as a tight end, but he does play some running back, also a linebacker. St. Clair in shotgun, Fogan off to his right. 7-0 London leads at 8.20 to go in the opening quarter. London in a four-man front. St. Clair dropped the snap and covered it up. But a loss, you just need to get a first down. 7.31 to go in the first quarter. London in front, 7 to nothing. Red Raiders showing a possible blitz. Play clock at 12 as the Chiefs look over to the sidelines. Wing to the right. London again showing a possible run blitz. Fogan gets the give, looking for a seam. Fogan works out of a tackle and bounces forward for a gain of about one. I make it two. It's a first down. Dude, their defensive linebackers yeah. can really move. They, their defense runs well. They're not a huge, I don't think they're a huge defense. They're much bigger to me offensively. Yeah. Third and nine. St. Clair wants to roll right. Has pressure coming. Needs to get rid of it. Throws to the sidelines. Caught for a first down. Riley near tackled out of bounds. But the defender was kind of just trailing him. On, on the rollout pass. Gain of 11 yards. It's a first down. Here comes a pass out in the flat, caught by the receiver, Reams. Reams has a couple of blocks. Reams bouncing forward. He's got a first down. Good blocking on the perimeter. Yeah. St. Clair wants to pass. This time throws. Caught by his receiver, who's got a first down. It's Wilson right at the sticks. In this drive. Now near is the running back. Wing to the left, two receivers to the left. One of them goes in motion. That is Reams. St. Clair wants to pass, has time, looking, looking, looking. Now looks to maybe run, throws on the run, and his oh. receiver dropped the ball about the 15. That's a heck of a throw on the run there. It was. Rolling out the opposite way. Old left, tried to hit Reams right around the London 15. Looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, a nice pass for, uh, you know, it's always a tough throw for the right-handed quarterback going to the left and trying to throw back, but uh, definitely catchable right there. And that's a, those are the kind of plays that Belfont's going to have to make in this game. Yeah. St. Clair wants to pass again. Pressure coming. Needs to get away from that pressure. And brought down. Brought down around the 42-yard line. Kind of landed awkwardly. He's okay. They might have to call a timeout, though. Play clock is down to two. They do get it off. St. Clair has time. Now steps up. Throws. Caught by his receiver near. 35. Reverses field. 30. 25. Still on his feet. And cut down around the 21. But now that makes that a fourth down play that is doable. Fourth and six for the Chiefs at the London 22. St. Clair in shotgun. Looks, throws towards Wilson. First wow. down catch. First down catch by Wilson on just a slant. Caught it right around the 15. Then continued to giddy up and got to about the 13. That's a huge conversion. To me, that's the biggest play of the game so far. Yeah, it was third and 25. And they work out of it. Game clock down to 13 seconds. Chiefs don't have to run another play if they don't want to, but they do. And they have a very successful play over the left side for a, a gain all the way down to the five. So the running back is Riley Near, who is in shotgun right next to St. Clair. They're both in that, uh, that shotgun look. St. Clair wants to pass. Looking, looking, looking. Now he can run if he wants. Throws towards the goal line, and the ball's deflected as he rolled to his left and threw. Added down by one of the linemen, and that sets up a huge third and three play. And here comes some of the, the, the muscle. Sullivan Ashcraft and Hayden Manns will check in on this play. Yeah, that's definitely some big bodies there coming so in. Third and three for the Chiefs at the London six. London in front, seven nothing. It's uh, Gibdenier who works out of one tackle, goes towards the goal line, dives, and he's not in. He's down to about the half yard line. Chiefs stay in shotgun, down seven nothing. Near is the running back. St. Clair waiting, gets a good snap, actually wants to pass, throws towards the end zone. It's caught, and it is a touchdown over the right corner of the end zone. First and goal and a foot, the Chiefs air it out. It's another touchdown pass from St. Clair to C.J. Wilson, a one-yard strike on the far side to the right side of the field, and here comes Crable for the conversion. Now Eli Moore will become a defensive lineman. 
Don is right. Third and five for the Red Raiders. Johns is in motion. He gets the give, trying to run wide left. Oh, he's hitting the hole and brought down by a host of Chiefs. Wow. Tried to run to his left on the sweep, and he got stood up, maybe got a yard. Great play by Alex Caudell. Quick strike offense. 7-7 seven, seven our score. 8-10 to go in the half. Chiefs looking at this 4-2 set. St. Clair wants to pass. Has time. Looks to step up. Still looking, still looking. Hit. Works out of that tackle. 40-35. It'll go out of bounds on the near side around the 29-yard line. A little shimmy shake by the tall quarterback. The big guy gave a little leg there and he did. Uh, took it away. Wow, a little shimmy shake. First down to the 28, 11 yard run by St. Clair. Well, he looks like he's in total control of this game tonight, right to me. Yeah, he, he has definitely uh, elevated his game tonight and, and he's in, not in, just in total control of the game, but he's running the offense. He's making good plays, good decisions in the pocket. Uh, he looks very poised. The London 38, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Aiden Mann's the wing to the right. And they look to pass it to him. He makes the catch, tries to get out of one tackle. He does, and then bounces forward to the 30. That's a different look than anybody else in the well found offense. He is just a rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, and he's a big, thick body to bring down. Got a few yards after the catch, and it's a gain of eight to the 30. Third and 12 for the Chiefs. Really, quarterback Connor Lacey, the junior, has his offense set. Man in motion. It's a low snap. Give to the running back who's hit and spun down rudely by Hayden Manns all the way back around. Well, I'll say that's at the 19. That's where the first contact was made. But the low snap really messed up the play. Loss of six. And that's accomplished. And they better get in a hurry up here. The play clock is at two. One. And they get the snap off. Quarterback throws. Picked off by Alex Caudill. Inside the 20. 15, here 10, 5. Touchdown. Alex Caudill picked it off at the London 26, and it's a house call for the senior. Wow, he read it, he jumped the route, and it was less like Lacey was throwing to the Chieftain. 26-yard defensive score for Caudill and the Chiefs, and Belfont takes their first lead of the night. 4.52 to go in the first half, and Alex Caudill with one of the biggest defensive plays of this season. A 26-yard pick six. Over on the far hash, and the Chiefs lead it 13-7. Well, teams continue to underestimate his speed, and right there was an you know, just great closing speed. He cut in front of the intended receiver and took it the route. Crable out for the conversion. It's put down by near. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Last year, it was Antoine Burns who was a tremendous running back. Powerful, but he graduated. Here comes running back trying to run right, wide right is Mitchell. Mitchell on a sweep. Pretty good run up to about the 48. The seven yard run, second and three. Here comes the running back trying to run wide left. And he's still in the open field and brought down around the 35. All kinds of flags on the field though. Gain of about 17. I would guess this is an offensive penalty. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. 39 seconds to go. Now Near goes in motion. Chiefs with an empty set. St. Clair wants to pass. It looks like has pressure. Still tries to throw. Loops out to his receiver, Deitch, who tries to work out of a couple of tackles. Deitch brought down at the 46. St. Clair rolled left, got knocked down after the throw. He's fine, but just a, a little looping pass. No real velocity, but that's, the, that's just what that play needed, and the Chiefs get a first down up to the 46. Yeah, I mean, there was nobody around, so a nice play by Di St. Clair and Deitch. 23 seconds to go in the half. This time, St. Clair rolls right, throws towards the sidelines, caught wow. by Wilson. What a pass, a oh. rope. Oh, man. And what a catch, really. Those two are something special. And third and three for the Chiefs at the London 46. Play clock is at six. St. Clair wants to pass, has time, throws downfield, caught by Reams inside the 30, needs to get down on the ground, down to the 25, Chiefs will take a timeout with 3.5 seconds to go. Back at London, Crabo will try a 42-yard field goal to end the half, ball's put down, the kick is up, and it's blocked, and the ball is loose, it may go back for a touchdown, near giving chase, still giving chase inside the 30, 20, 10, 5, and he's, did he get in? No, he, oh, he did call him in, he did get in. So London returns the block field goal for a touchdown. Bedlam inside press row. Chiefs try a 42 yard field goal. It was blocked and then scooped and scored by London. Scooped up around the left hash, right around the London 40. Near gave chase, great effort. I thought he might make the tackle inside the 10. 
will push the return man out of bounds, but it just barely did not happen. So touchdown London, I think it was Elijah Mitchell that had the scoop and score. Yeah, that, that, the big part of that was if Near could catch him, if he catches him, it's, it, you know, there's no, you know, no score because of that time he'd run out in the half. Yeah. So no time left and London will try a game tying, tying extra point here to end the half. It's put down, the kick is up and the kick is good. And here comes another pitch play. Running back Sollers. Pretty good run on the pitch to about the 42. Right behind Lacey backs our split. Here's a give to Mitchell. Mitchell trying to run wide right. He's hitting the hole and he's brought down. Lost a yard. That's great run defense. Third and two and the Chiefs <laughs> just were more aggressive on that play. Loss of one sets up a fourth and three and here comes the London punt team. St. Clair in shotgun. And he gives it off to Near. Near gets a block. Near reverses field and got to about the 19 where he's brought down by Sean Johns. Third and 14. We're tied up at 14 on the scoreboard. St. Clair wants to pass. Has time. Throws out to his receiver. Look at a reverse field is Near. Near gets a couple of blocks. Near still on his feet and brought down at the 30. That's the extent of my officiating knowledge right there. Neutral zone means no. Here comes a toss play to the running back, Sollers. Sollers hit. And got a first down to about the 45. Gain a four. First half, or rather the second half. Back split behind Lacey. Chief show run blitz. And running back, Zach Jones, somersaults down to about the seven yard line and a quick hitter over left guard. Gain of eight. Primary ball carrier here. The ball's given to the Jones. Hit, spins, trying to get a push, and he got maybe not much. Maybe a yard. Second and goal from the six. Good defense. Cardill again. Down to 8.30 to go in the game. 14 14. London trying to take the lead. Sollers now the running back. He gets the give on a toss. Sollers inside the five, bouncing towards the end zone. Touchdown! And for a fullback, he's pretty nimble on those toss plays. And after touchdown here, it's put down. Kick is up, and the kick is good. St. Clair in shotgun near next to him. And it's a give to near. He's got a hole, 25. Somersaults to the 26. That was well blocked. Chiefs look like they might go hurry up right here. 45 to go in the game. First and 10 for the Chiefs at their own 31. Landing Kelly in motion as the wing. Chiefs will run it with Near, who's hit in the backfield and brought down. That was not blocked at all. No. Second and 15. Chiefs down by a touchdown. They need a, a spark offensively. St. Clair wants to pass. Throws. Caught by his receiver, 35. Moving forward. Still on his feet is Deitch. Held up by a couple of Red Raiders in the secondary, and they really never do tackle. And they finally just corral him at the 39. But that's a big play. Pounds. Fourth and one. The Chiefs will go. The back judge holds up five. Give to Near. Near trying to move forward. Near. And it's good to depend on the spot. I don't he think he got it. it. I don't think he got it. I think he's maybe about half a yard short. Yeah, he did not get it. And the officials will call timeout. Maybe for a measurement, but on these turf fields, you can see right away the ball's just over the 40. The Chiefs needed to get to their own 41. They're short by about two-thirds of a yard. They'll measure, but this is just uh, just for to make it look good, really. They're you know, short, short by about two-thirds of a yard. Like you said, with all those big guys in there, it's a really tough to get Riley near any movement in there. Um, once he gets you know, hit, he's just not a very big guy. I think that you know maybe looking play uh, on the outside edge on something like that, but up the middle is going to be a tough sledding against that big defensive line. Uh, Chiefs are short by about... Two thirds of a yard and London takes over. They have the lead, they have the momentum and they have a short field. 5.31 to go in the game. London leading Belfound 21 to 14. And it's a give to the running back Mitchell who slips and then keeps his footing. I think he's got the first he's down. Got, he yeah. slipped in the hole but then regained his footing. That may be Mitchell's first run of the second half. 
for London at the Bell Fountain, 27. London up by a touchdown, 21-14. Chiefs have two timeouts left. Give it to the running back who's got a seam. And then the Chiefs actually push him forward from behind to make the tackle. That's Zach Jones, and that is a first down. Yeah, their defense has been solid, but Belfonts hurt themselves with penalties. First and ten, give to Sollers. He's got a seam. Sollers rumbling, and Sollers, being the hammer, takes it down to the eight. Gain of 11, that's a first down. 138 to go. And a run to the left side by Sollers. Another timeout by the Chiefs. We'll take a timeout. 21-14, second and goal from the Belfonts' nine-yard line. Lacey under center. Wing to the left, two running backs split behind him. Give to the first running back, Jones, and he'll go into the end zone, run over the umpire for the touchdown. And now London leads it by two scores, 1.30 to go in the game, and that may do it. The Fountain needed a, a series, a possession, or a stop. They were penalized. Extra point is up. That's good. Next game, I mean, uh, you know, it's football. St. Clair wants to pass, throws, caught by his receiver who's hit and brought down, sure tackling again. And they might get a good spot in a first down. Wow, just up past the 30. First down, 114 to go in the game. Chiefs down 28-14. It'll be interesting to see now if Ralph Fountain gets that coveted home game. That's gonna be close. Near, gets set. Game clock is down to 102. Late in the fourth quarter, Chiefs down 28-14. You know, and that's what we talked about with the injury to Fogan, and Buffon becomes awfully one-dimensional. Second and ten. St. Clair wants to pass. Looking, looking, looking. It's deflected. It's caught by the lineman. That's Matt Mott. And he's thrown down. Good for you, buddy. He knows he's got a headset on. He can talk normal. Yeah, yeah, you're right. St. Clair wants to pass, looking, 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 has pressure hit, and he's brought down. Brought down back at the nine yard line, and that's how the game will end. St. Clair gets up, he's okay, and that will be the end of the game. And, well, we got a flag. St. Clair in shotgun, gets the snap. Looking, 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 now steps up, he's got pressure coming to the back side. And he's brought down around the 13-yard line. That was the freshman, Ladania McNeil, who showed off that speed on the rush. And St. Clair a sack to end the game, a loss of 12, and that's how it ends. That was strange, too, because nobody ran a route. London a winner as they force a CBC co-title with the Belfound Chiefs. Both teams went 4-1 and one in league play. The Chiefs finished the regular season 8-2. and two. London went 7-3. and three. Final score, one final time. London 28, Belfound 14. For Don Hensley, I'm Bill Simple saying have a good weekend.